All right, let's go. Let's go. Let me do a quick introduction. Quick introduction, okay? In today's guide, we are doing, today we're doing a Jamie guide, okay? And this guide isn't like any of the other guides, all right? This is more like a super duper try hard advanced tech kind of guide kind of thing. All right. I'm going to be showing you guys instead of showing you more about combos, which of course I'm going to be doing combos. I'm going to be showing you guys things like tech with Jamie, how to approach matchups, how to approach the neutral with Jamie, um, all of Jamie's anti airs. Uh, and then little nuances and cool tech that you guys probably didn't know Jamie could do before. Um, and I'm going to be showing this all to you guys. So this is a lot of information that Jamie has. And I recommend that after this guide, right, you guys, I'm not just trying to get you guys to go back to the video, but I recommend that you guys come back, um, to, to the video in the future and watch it. Cause there's one thing I know about Jamie is that he has so much depth to his tool set that if you don't play the character for a long time and if you kind of like you guys saw it right i was struggling in rank i was struggling really bad right and it was because jamie has so many things that i just forgot that he can do because it, there's so many routes to everything with jamie all right so jamie is uh, pretty much kind of like a low tier character right so he doesn't have the uh the damage kind of so he gets a damage nerf from his drinks right so obviously drinking so he gets a damage nerf from being without drinks right so drinking gives him a damage buff and brings him to base damage basically uh, basically and and then extra damage when he gets to level four right now the priority of drinking uh it that that depends on the matchup right so against characters that have fireballs let's say a character like guile right um, I wouldn't recommend drinking against a character like Guile, okay? Um, because drinking against a character, I wouldn't recommend giving up Oki to drink. So, like, let's say I do a combo, uh, into this and I do this. I wouldn't recommend doing this, you know why? Because Guile can pretty much, uh, wake up with Sonic Boom. Oops. He can wake up with Sonic Boom, right? Um, after a, after you, you're drinking and now you're in a disadvantage pretty much, right? Gal has the advantage because now you have a fireball coming right at your face and there's nothing you can do about it, okay? So so the, the first thing I'm going to start off with in this Jamie guide is pretty much teach you guys how to approach matchups, right? So there are characters where you can play neutral with, right? Like, like characters like uh, Manon characters like uh honda characters like maybe not jury so much but even jury kimberly marissa um or geef is another character cammy is another character where i absolutely if i'm playing against these characters i absolutely prioritize drinking right so if i'm playing against cammy and i get a combo um i will always try to prioritize the the, the drink to get level one right because level one dive kick is really strong um so that's the first thing I wanted to teach you guys about matchups, right? Um, characters like like Ken and Guile and Ryu and even Jury, uh, sometimes especially Chun Li is another one. It's not really a good idea to drink against those characters and give up Oki because those characters can throw a fireball and characters like Guile, Ken, Chun, and Jury can follow their fireball and pretty much pressure you. So you lose your turn. And you also lose out on a lot of potential damage from throw loops because Jamie has good throw loops um, and, and, th and things like that, right? So that is how I approach those certain matchups. On a, on a, that's on a basic level, right? On a basic level is his advanced combo routes. I guess I wouldn't really call them advanced combo routes, but his combo choices from neutral, right? So Jamie has obviously driver stand fierce in which you can get a nice little combo from, right? Uh, you can drink or you can do light DP to get a double 
double dash for Oki, right? Um, now, his hard combo, which is the combo that pretty much every Jamie wants to do, but really can't get it because it's really difficult, is his his launcher into stand fierce into the sweep into the drink right so this combo i'm about to put you guys on uh to a little bit of tech on this combo um i think i've said this before probably on my stream but there is a way to get the drink pretty much guarantee the drink no matter what safely right so there's about three scenarios that can happen when you, when you try to do this combo off of a off of a whiff punish or even just you know just like just whatever right. There's I am still looking, but okay. There's there's three scenarios right. You can after you do the launcher into the jump heavy kick, um, and you do the stand fears, right. Either it'll land uh too low like that in order for it like and then if it's too low it won't work if it's just right you'll be able to get the sweep um and then the the final scenario is where you just hit one hit and you can't get anything out of that so it's either that one or uh let me see if i can do it it's kind of really hard to do it the wrong way um right there that's that's the other one right now I was saying before, I said this before, right? In two out of those three scenarios, you can actually get the drink safely. So as long as you get one of those two, you'll be able to at least drink, even if you fuck the combo up. All right, rewind, 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 rewind. So in at least two out of those three scenarios, you'll be able to get the drink, even if you mess the combo up, okay? So, and those two scenarios are, one, if you do the heavy punch really late, like that, um, or obviously, if you actually do the combo properly, which I'm struggling to do, like right there, right? And so, the reason I say you can get the drink if you do it too late is because even though you don't get the sweep from a really late one, so... You don't get the sweet uh, sweep from there. You can still drink right after the heavy punch. And hold on, let me. So that was a good one. That was another good one. I'm trying to do it late. It's crazy now that I'm doing it. Now that I'm trying to do it late, I do it right. There you go. So look, you can get the drink there, right? Let me uh, show you guys the frame data on that. So that'll actually be minus two on block. But because it's mid-screen, you don't really suffer from anything. And even if the opponent recovers in place and wakes up, let's say, with a uh, crouching medium kick, right? Let's say you do it late. You do this. Look, the crouching medium kick will, will, will whiff there. And after the crouching medium kick whiffs, you can actually just whiff punish it, right? Um, now, you guys are probably asking, but JP, how do I know? when it's the right timing right all right here's how you know here's how you know let me take a sip let me take a sip there is a slight there is a slight <clears throat> when you hit it at the right time there is a slight camera jerk that you see the camera jerk upwards just a tiny bit um and that's how you know because the character goes high enough to make the camera shift and that's how you know that the timing is proper right so let me show you let me let me take off all of these uh all of these things really quick so you see how when i jump the camera shifts upwards you see that right so when you hit the stand heavy punch you see, so that was bad because nothing happened to the camera. But when you hit it properly like that, I don't know if you noticed, but the camera jerks up just a tiny bit. The heebie-jeebie timing. <laughs> so when that happens, you know that you can get the sweep, right? When it doesn't happen, I can get the sweep there. I'm going to keep doing it to show you. Like right there, I can drink. And then I'm still safe. 
So we're going to put the game speed at 50%. We're going to make Jamie do it. So if you guys pay attention, when you hit it right, see how the camera jerks up just slightly? Just super duper duper slightly. Look at this. See that? I can see the frames. That's how you know. But if you do it in the bad timing, the camera doesn't jerk at all. It stays pretty much how it's going to be for the rest of the combo, right? So look, this is the bad timing. See that? The camera does no no like little tiny flick upwards. I'm going to stop saying the word jerk because you guys are so weird. All right. Hopefully that helped you guys with that combo, right? So go ahead and practice that. Um, practice confirming it. So if you do it right. So like I said, if, if you do the early one where where uh where you only get one hit just do a double dash you have no choice but to do a double dash you can't drink it won't be safe and you'll get bodied if you try to drink but if you confirm it and you know whether you can get the drink or not you go for the sweep or if you do it too late like right there no you go for the drink and you're going to be negative two, but you didn't waste the combo for nothing. You still, you still get the, the drink at the end, no matter what, you know? So make sure you guys practice that. It'll definitely come in handy. And also while you're doing that, and as you're doing it consistently, you're also going to get better at timing this thing. Uh, I certainly was super good. My muscle memory is kind of bad now, but I... I was actually pretty good at timing it. In the corner, you can actually get this. And this does also good damage. It just does 100 less. There's 100 less than this one, but it's way more consistent in the corner, especially in the corner. You know, in the corner, you can do this. So you do double launch, stand heavy punch, and it's definitely way more consistent. All right. There was one thing that I used to do that I don't actually like doing it anymore because I think it's such a big waste of meter. But if you guys ever feel like you absolutely want to do this, you can. And that's a way to get a drink mid screen and also get Oki at the same time. Right. So Jamie has an actual way to get a drink mid screen and then still get get Oki. Right. Do. So you can do launcher, the same one, and then that into drink. And then that, even if they do a back roll, um, a back tech, you get that, right? So uh, let me make them wake up with crotch light punch. you can still pressure them, right? After after target combo, right? You get a light DP. And this is plus four on a dash. And which means that you can do command grab here, right? But in Street Fighter Six, if a strike and a command grab or any type of grab, if a strike and any type of grab it could be a command grab or a grab, um, hit on the same frame, the strike actually wins, right? In Street Fighter uh, 5, it was the opposite. In Street Fighter 5, they both hit on the same frame. The grab wins, right? Now, I'll admit, I'm, I'm sure Capcom did that on purpose. And I think it would be a little too cheap if, if, if they gave this to Jamie. But then again, maybe not because they give it to every character. Because like, so there are some characters that have some really strong tools, right? So <clears throat> basically what I'm trying to say is that if the opponent wakes up, you lose right because it's it they hit on the same frame but you lose right <clears throat> so that means that you need to find meaty setups right in order to or not meaty set what well, yes actually meaty setups one of the big ones is is dive kick so dive kick into dash 
actually leaves you plus five instead of plus four and dive kick into dash even if the opponent wakes up with the jab you still get command grab so that's a really good one that's a really good one uh there's one setup that i like to do but you're gonna need to practice it and one of those setups is basically after light breakdance or light bakai you could do a dash and if you time it right the timing is not that hard but it does require a little bit of practice you'll be able to actually uh command grab after that another setup i like to do is uh after after a block drive rush into stand medium punch you're plus five which is cool so after this you get a clean command grab you get a super clean command grab okay so after heavy dp in the corner um you can whiff stand heavy punch and get a command grab best combos out of regular ex command grab okay so if you want to learn some combos out of uh out of regular and ex command grab so regular i usually do stand medium punch uh into target combo this is probably the best thing you could do right um you can't really get anything after that because it's only it's only plus eight after the command grab so the only thing you can get is this into target combo and you can get that anywhere on the screen no matter what now ex ex you have uh two different kinds of combos right so if you're in level three you can do go into whatever you want right so if you're level three you can go into this into that into that right but if you're in level four you actually get access to a brand new combo which is forward heavy kick uh target combo into uh the headbutt in the corner uh you have to let them drop a little bit and then you get the forward heavy kick uh back heavy kicks uh forward uh punch i guess or you don't even need to do forward punch but so forward heavy kick back heavy kick punch right now if you want to have a perfect timing for this because it could be a little confusing because if you do it too early it doesn't work right if if you actually want to get the, t the, the 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 timing consistent you can do a little dash so if you do a dash you'll be able to get it consistently so there you go <clears throat> A oh, walking instead will build a little drive meter. That's true. That's true, Sloth. So walking will actually build you more drive meter than dashing. So, little fun fact: if you manually time it, you're better off, and you get more damage. I'm sorry, more drive gauge, more drive gauge, not more damage. So I'm gonna show you guys all the possible situations that that happen after level or or the all the combo routes that you can do after level three and all my favorite ones to do there are many 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 combos to do after level three but these are just my favorite ones right so let's start off with doing one let's say you're in level zero right and you hit a level three is she gonna block no so you guys can do the normal one right like that right uh or if you want to go for a drink, you can do... This is manually timed, by the way. Uh, it's not hard to do. You just you just need to... I say that as I miss it twice, but... You just need to practice the timing just a little bit. I'm still missing it. Wow. There you go. Just make sure you practice that. Practice it before trying it. Please. <laughs> Don't be like me. Now, you can't... You guys know that standing heavy punch combo. You can still get a stand heavy punch here. But it is actually extremely, extremely difficult. I think the timing might actually be one frame. In order, in order to get this. It has like a one or two frame timing. And it's very, very hard to do. So I wouldn't ever recommend trying to get the stand heavy punch here because 
you're probably not going to get it. There is a really optimal combo that I like to do. Um, it's not only optimal in damage. I mean, it's probably not optimal in damage, but it's optimal in situation wise. And so there's if you hit somebody with a level three in the corner, right? Um, there's a couple of things you can do. So you can do a side switch. So you can do. Uh, wait, uh, so you so you can do the launcher jump heavy kick into that. Now, that is kind of like a side switch. You waste four bars, but it actually doesn't leave the opponent directly in a corner. You know what I mean? Which is something that I don't really like. I don't I don't really like that it doesn't leave the, the opponent directly in a corner. Um let me uh let me uh take off the refill. So there's another one where you can waste four bars, right? If you have it, and I, I I do it, I think it's good because if you have your opponent in the corner, chances are you're gonna get a throw loop. You're gonna get all that bar back, right? So this is what you do, right? You start it off by doing stand medium drive rush stand medium punch. You delay stand heavy kick into launcher into that. And then you do that. Actually, it costs five bars. Five bars actually. Or you can do this, which also pretty much puts them close to the corner, right? But this one does a ton of damage. This one does a ton of damage, and it's literally a coast-to-coast -coast combo. Now, uh, I guess I guess I should teach you guys about this because a lot of people struggle with this. I know it's, this should not be uh, an advanced technique. It shouldn't be considered an advanced technique, but a lot of people struggle with this combo right here, which is the combo that pretty much every Jamie knows, right? It's, it's that one, right? Um, now, the thing about this combo, and it's probably the reason a lot of you are dropping it, is because you have to delay the jump heavy kick. Or else, the jump medium punch won't work. So if I do it immediately, see, the jump medium punch won't work. Now, if you delay it, just a little bit you'll be able to hit the medium punch so just keep that in mind so the reset that i like to do there are two main resets that he has but be careful with these resets because he has uh sorry uh these are the only ones he has so people pretty much always know that you're about to do it unless you catch them just a little bit off guard you know, so this is the reset that you do. You do drive rush, crouch fear, stand light kick, drive impact. This one's really good. This one's literally really, really, really good. Another reason this one is so good is because in this in this game, drive impact has a buffer of about three frames, I believe, three or four when landing. So they don't have a lot of time to actually confirm this drive impact. They need to do it within it might not be three, either three or four or five around there frames and that's not that easy to do like you actually have to press it like I, I there was one time where jamie hit me with that even though i was spamming it and because i was still in the air and you can't buffer it in the air like look at that bro look at that like i mean i guess i, I am recovering here from from the jump in but either way Exactly, much less time than people do it as a block string. So, so that's one of the resets, right? I'll do it again. Drive rush, crouch fear, stand light kick, drive impact. This reset is super good. I love it. Um, use it however you like, right? Now, here's here's another one uh, that he has, and this is an overhead reset. So, if you actually do drive rush launcher, crouch fears into overhead, I believe on hit. You're plus six, so you probably don't get anything except crouch medium punch or uh, target combo. So that's another cool little reset for you guys. Now, let's move on to damage, right? Damage-wise, damage-wise, uh, my favorite combo that I like to do because it, why it only takes three bars um, is this one, right? So it's crouch fierce heavy dp ex dp so that's actually one of my favorite combos to do when i want to go for damage 
uh, without wasting as much meter, obviously. All right, Shuckle. Shout out to Shuckle. Let's do Shuckle's combo really quick on level three. Crouch, light punch, down, light kick, command grab. I don't know how good it is though. Let's see. Oh, this is actually really good. Actually, super good because you're plus seven here. This is actually really good. Oops. Actually, really good. And you can also go for a... Uh, for a and medium punch here, too. So... You know what, Shuckle? Let's pretend that I knew about this already, and let's throw it into the guide, baby. All right, guys, if you want to do a level three reset, right? This is how you do it, right? I call this one personally the JB reset, but you know, somebody else might have discovered it. So here we go, after level three, if you want to do a command grab reset, you can do drive rush launcher, crouch light punch into a chain stand light kick for the frame kill. And you're going to be plus seven. And as we all know, plus seven is the magic number for command grab because command grab is eight frames. You can get a nice juicy command grab right after that. If you want to do or if you want to do the most optimal damage and pretty much you don't care about your resources because you actually want to kill. Into, oh, into heavy DP. Let me do it again. There we go. So this combo is Drive Rush, Crouch Fierce. Another Drive Rush, Crouch Fierce, EX Palm. Into heavy DP at the end. If you're in level 4, this is your go-to combo. Oops. that does a lot of damage now my go-to after level three uh is definitely uh the prioritizing the the drink one yes you can only do the medium palm for the ender after that so what i like to do is I, I like to prioritize drinking so i just do this really simple combo it still does a lot of damage and you get a drink and your plus four so this is drive rush crouch fears to light palm into sweep into the drink and you're still plus four so if you guys want to drink you guys can get that one all right or you guys can can do that one and it only costs one bar exactly now if you have no bar this you still have options if you have no bar um medium palm is a really good safe jump right so if you do medium palm after level three and you're in burnout you have a really nice safe jump if you want to get that drink you can always do dash stand fierce it's kind of there we go so dash stand fierce into the drink also a good option right um, um actually you know what guys here's another cool little thing uh this is like honorable mentions so if you're mid screen and you can't do any of the corner combos but you still want to do max damage right uh you can actually do a delayed jump heavy kick after this into heavy dp to still get the double dp combo there so this is a little bit hard so make sure that you delay that jump heavy kick as much as you can and do that heavy dp as quick as possible let me show you guys some 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 cool tech really quick so you guys see how how um I got the double DP right there, right? So JB is actually one of the only characters who can get a really good, consistent double DP. Um, and you do that by doing a light DP pretty early. So let's say somebody jumps in on you, right? If you get a light DP pretty early, it doesn't even need to be that early. 
even right here it works so this is actually super consistent if you are far from the corner the heavy dp will not oh, sorry the exdp will not hit after the heavy dp so if you guys feel like you have consistent dps and you're pretty fast with them i would recommend i would recommend doing that um it's super easy it's super easy you just have to get used to the timing and also by the way if you do it fast enough you get a level three afterwards here's my favorite use use for uh crotch heavy punch one thing about the the drive rush heavy punch that i really like is that not only does can you get more damage than a dp but you can get a full combo after you hit it by doing stand heavy punch into whatever you want so that's one thing that i love to do against jp players when i feel like they jump a lot um i read their jump do drive rush crouch fierce uh and uh and get a big fat punish <clears throat> shakes what to do when i slam the opponent of the corner with driving pack all different situations close for our drink drinks damage okay that's a good question that's a good question here let me let me let me let me teach you that really quick uh so what do you guys do after a uh, drive impact slam so there are a couple of things that you can do you can uh if you want you can go for damage right so you can do crouch fierce ex palm stand heavy punch will juggle here so if you want to go for level three you can right um uh but i usually like to go for the drink because the drink is is important right and you get good oki with the drink um, so there are two ways I get the drink, right? So actually Shuckle actually taught me this on, on one of her, um, uh, Twitter posts. And the, uh, the tech is that, so if you do level one with Jamie into the drink, right? You're negative one. So this makes you not want to do the level one being negative one in the in the corner it makes you not want to do uh the level one right or it makes you not want to drink after the level one uh so fun fact i don't know why this is but if you actually do the level one from an ex palm into the drink you're actually plus plus two which is insane right because you would think that you'd still be negative because nothing really changes but it actually knocks them a little higher um and due to the juggle points or something and you actually get a nice little drink in so if you want uh, a drive impact combo which gets you uh good damage and it also gets you um uh, a drink and oki as well i recommend doing crotch fears into uh ex into the drink now uh one of the things one of the things that i like to do personally is uh stand light kick into stand fierce into the drink now this doesn't do a lot of damage but you know what you get really really i mean what i what i meant to say is that you get put into a favorable situation because you get plus one on the drink you take a little bit of the drive meter away um and you deal some okay damage it's not the best but it's okay you know it's okay i mean it's better than getting something like like i don't know like like it, it's 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 pretty good so you probably seen me do the crotch medium punch and the reason i do the crotch medium punch is because if the opponent actually gets hit for whatever reason i don't know why so like say they get hit or they try to jump you can actually hit confirm whether whether they uh um block it or not right so uh or whether you're high enough or not sometimes they'll block it but they'll still be high enough it's just but it's only if they're pretty far from the corner or something like that and it just so happens to reach like to, to to hit them on the wall 
but uh, basically, when you see that their feet are just slightly ele elevated above the ground, just know that crouch medium punch works there. When they, when you see their feet, you see how their feet are on the ground right there. You see how his feet is on the ground. That means that crouch medium punch won't work. So look, I'll, I'll show you. Crouch medium punch do doesn't work there. <clears throat> All right, you want to know some spacing traps? All right, I got you. Let's go to that then. So Jamie's struggle a lot, a lot with spacing traps, like literally a lot. And the reason they struggle with spacing traps, I, I, I don't know why Capcom did this, but Jamie just for some reason cannot do a block string and then simply space the opponent after a block string. So like say I have uh, Ken to do crotch medium kick, right? So say I do a normal block string right here. I'm walking back by the way. I'm walking back and there's nothing that I can do to stop Ken from doing a, a crotch medium kick meaty. And as you guys know, this is negative one. So once this ends, I have to wait and I have to be patient and you know, give my opponent their turn back, right? Now there's a couple of things that you can do to stop the Ken from mashing crouch medium kick. The first one is a little funky and I don't know why this works, but if you actually don't press anything after the stand light kick, um, oh wait, sorry. Wait, I believe it's a... Uh... Ah, there it is, there it is. So it's that one. So look, here, if you do this and you press nothing, you can whiff punish. But if you walk back, I don't know why, but you get hit. You get hit. I don't know why. So I don't know why this happens, but it happens. Uh, all right, now, now here's another thing you can do, which is what I like to do. It's a uh, back medium punch. I'm uh, sorry, back heavy punch. And back heavy punch actually does tons, tons of work for you if you properly space it. So if you do that and back medium punch them, you get good damage. You get a good whiff punish. Um, and then you get a, a, a nice little combo. So the only combo that you can do after this is stand light kick. But if you're in level one, you can get target combo. So you guys can use that if you guys want to, to start blowing up your opponent uh, for mashing crouch medium kick on you. Um, go ahead and, and do that. But also uh, be uh, cautious though, because in level three, you actually don't get a combo. So what can you do at level three? If you confirm that you hit them, you can you can do uh, super. So you can do the, the second hit of the target combo, which is just another punch. I don't know if you guys remember. When I was trying to find a good spacing trap for Light Rekka, uh, and I was like, I swear I had one, and then I forgot which one it was. So this one is actually a really good one because this one is a true block string all the way through. And so this one you do stand like sorry, it's not a true block string. It's 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 a frame trap. It's a frame trap. There you go. All the way through. So if you do any type of drive rush right uh, into stand medium punch. So stand medium punch after a drive rush is plus five, which means that you can do another one, right? So another one will frame trap them in any way, no matter what they press, unless they do an invincible move, right? Or a parry, a perfect parry. <clears throat> so you can do that into that, into another medium punch, and that's plus one. So if they do a four frame, it'll trade with you, unfortunately, but it's still okay. Because if you do get that, even Ken with his B stand light kick whiffs the st the his stand light kick punish because as you know like Ken like uh Ken can punish Jamie's record light record really easily right um so 
If you want a way to perfectly space it out, use that. So that's a space trap that I like to do with uh, with Jamie. I wanted to teach you guys a little bit about Jamie's uh, Drive Rush. Drive Rush Stand Fierce, right? Drive Rush Stand Fierce is pretty good, but there are characters that can't check it. Like, can't stand jab, can't stand like kick, Cammy stand like kick does a good job at checking them. Um, or just simply the opponent just simply jumping will blow you up and will also check it right so if you have an opponent that likes to try to check it like that right um, there's a couple of things that you can do in order to like interrupt it so one back heavy heavy punch the little delay from back heavy punch kind of makes it so their move gets pretty much with punished you know after after you do it. and you bro it's plus nine so you can get a crouch fierce into whatever you want uh if your opponent does a lot of neutral jumps what i recommend doing is doing a driver's jab at level one so if you're in level one driver's jab is really good too although you don't get much from it right the only thing you get is a, is another is another uh stand jab because there's literally nothing that'll link at this range so it's plus six crouch medium punch won't work just do another stand like punch um if you're close enough of course but the reason i like to do a uh, driver stand light punch is because if the opponent likes to jump a lot you can react with with uh jump i uh, sorry with dp whereas if you just do it you know you kind of get bodied so if you feel like the opponent is trying to jump a lot or is trying to react with with, with, with jump which is actually possible um don't be afraid to drive rush stand light punch instead um now there's another layer to jamie's drive rush right and the other layer that i'm talking about is for opponents who um who love to drive impact after uh after seeing you drive rush right so let's say let's say so all right that's another thing i have to teach you guys so jamie's uh drive rush stand fear so his stand fears in general has three hits so if you do it from close enough you'll break you'll actually break the drive impact right but if you do it from a distance it doesn't break it but if that does happen you can actually react with anything you want so if you want you can react with your own drive impact right you can react with uh oh my god i can't do super fast enough i'm too slow guys i'm an old man there you go so you can react with a level three uh a level one if but i just recommend reacting with your own drive impact that's what i recommend doing instead um so there you go guys we're actually almost out of things to teach you um we're almost done with this advanced super try hard jamie guide uh let me see what else what else can i show you guys ah the drink and drive there you go the drink and drive spoods the drink and drive all right Another thing you can do if your opponent loves to check your drive rush, right? So if, if you see that your opponent is consistently checking drive rush, another piece of tech that you can do, which is what we call in this stream the drink and drive, is you drive rush into the drink. Now this has no range, so I don't know if you've noticed, but this thing, look at that. Um, it literally makes your opponent just like freeze up. Like they really don't know how to, how to punish that. Uh, let me see what else. Now you guys want to know about the side switch also. Let me teach you about, uh, this side switch. So Jamie in the corner, right? If you drive impact your opponent, cause you know, your opponent's going to try to drive impact you drive impact in the corner. Jamie has a cool little side switch. My bad, guys. My, my my hands are just very tired. Which pretty much goes like this. And the way to do this is jump heavy kick, dash, stand, stand heavy punch, right? Um, this is a little difficult, and I recommend you practice this a lot because uh, the timing is very, very, very weird for some reason. 
the jump heavy kick has to be done super duper duper late like the latest you can ever imagine even when you think it's like not possible that's when you want to do the the heavy kick um but from the side sw uh side switch you get a lot of things so you can do light palm right as Spoods just said you can get light break dance into level three as well so uh yeah you guys can go ahead and use that if you want all right now let's teach you guys some safe jumps in the corner i'm sure i don't know if you guys know but jamie gets uh from his target combo into light dp he gets a jump fierce right so boom he gets a meaty jump fierce that or a safe jump 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 fierce that blocks dps wake up super whatever even if they wake up with a perfect parry even if they wake up with the perfect parry you're only negative two so you can still tech and you won't get thrown in the corner after this either right now he gets the same exact safe jump from a light break dance and that's only if, if you're in level two right now mid screen he also gets a safe jump but only from his light dp and the safe jump that he gets is jump light kick so if you want to do a safe jump jump light kick is really good here and also the reason um why i like the jump light kick here is because it's plus five on block right which means that you get a crouch medium kick a really nice crouch medium kick and most people like to walk back in this situation they love to walk back here because they think they can and you catch them in like a little bit of a frame trap walking back and you get to punish them for it if if you want to do uh either Rekka, right or or you could just do a drive rush so boom it's a drive rush against uh honda so honda's wake up is ex headbutt right against moves that have armor like sumo headbutt like ex headbutt right the uh the jump fierce actually gets beat out fear not you can still do jump light punch and that'll block the safe jump for you or sorry it, it'll block the ex headbutt for you uh, now there's another situation that happens ain't no flying headbutt in japanese sumo now another uh situation that happens uh is if you try to save jump zangief when he has level three do it. no against od amnesia you can still do jump fierce uh you can still do jump fierce against od amnesia so it doesn't matter it's gonna get hit anyway od amnesia is gonna block and it's still gonna come out there's nothing you can do about that safe jump uh, uh, about od amnesia unless you just want to bait it and not press a button when you jump in um now for geef right check this out if i try to save jump geef i actually get hit by his level three right so even if i jump and look i'm holding up i'm still getting hit you actually can't escape that level three right unless you know this little matchup trick that i, I taught you guys this yesterday i don't know how many of you are still in here from yesterday or two days ago i believe two days ago um but uh, one thing you can do against that level three is if you actually hold up before the flash, you actually jump out of it. So you can do the safe jump and hold up before the flash. And you can even let go. Like, look, I'm holding up right before the flash. I let go of the stick and Jamie still jumps. That's because the game completely freezes, but it registers your jump because you're technically safe. Now, does that mean that you're going to jump if they don't do level three? And actually, no, because if all you do is just hold up just for a little while longer, just for a little bit longer, if you hold up, you can let go of it after you actually land the jump heavy punch and continue your, uh, your, uh, your pressure.
so there you go guys there you go all right i hope you guys enjoyed the absolute try hard crazy super advanced jamie guide <laughs> um not really but i just wanted to give uh all the jamie players who come to my stream something to watch from time to time you know like kind of like little things that you can learn with jamie that you probably didn't already know so i hope you guys learned something uh and if you did i'm really i i'm really 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 happy and grateful to you guys uh for watching let me know if you guys have any more questions or comments about the video it's literally my first edited video by me so be nice <laughs> um i tried my best you know and i wanted to just put this out there for you guys so thank you guys for supporting me like always and i hope you enjoyed